welcome to the first ever Sports Boss on the Line in Australia. Oh, very exciting. Yeah, I am Lauro. And I'm Crystal. And we're going to be looking over the next few months at a series, but what's this all about before we get into that, Crystal? Well, the purpose of the video series uh, really is to have a monthly update, uh, but also to encourage you guys as young athletes about what it is to give your all to Jesus in your sport. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And particularly over the next five months, we're going to be looking through a book in the Bible called Philippians. And the series is called This Is Living. Yeah, that ain't living, Barry. This is living. This is living. So we're going to be looking in the Bible at what real living is all about. Um, but we're just going to get into today's topic, which is having a love of the game. But before I do that, Crystal, what's your main sport? Oh, my ma main sport uh, is netball. That's my team sport anyway that I play. Yeah. And so what does it look like to have a deep love of the game in, in netball or in sport in generally? Uh, well, it would take some kind of involvement or engagement you know, in the game of netball. Uh, so whether it be a player or a spectator or a coach. Hmm. Um, but if I think of someone who really loves netball, uh, it would be someone who lives and breathes it. Uh, and they're so dedicated to it. So they're around all the time. Uh, and they're also talking about it all the time. But not just talking about it, but talking about it with passion. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So deep, having a deep passion, a deep love of the game. Yeah. So we're going to look at that today. So we're going to flick to our Bibles. We're going to look in Philippians in the Bible. But before we do, just got to remember that Philippians is a letter written by Paul and Timothy to a church, to a bunch of Christians um, yeah. in um, a city called Philippi and it was a Roman based city so the Christians, followers of Jesus in that city um, had a lot of the culture was stacked up against them. Yeah. Um, and it was yeah. Paul who wrote the letter, right? But he was in prison, is that That's right? That's right, he was actually under arrest. He was under arrest and in prison in his own house for being a follower of Jesus. Yeah, well. And so he was writing to encourage the Christians in, in Philippi to to keep following Christ, keep yeah, following yeah. Him, um, no matter what the circumstances, no matter whether there's persecution coming up, keep following Christ, keep being, rejoicing, keep being full of joy. Mm. So that's where he was, what he was right, why he was writing to them. So we're going to look at a bit of that today in Philippians. We're going to specifically this month read Philippians one uh, to twenty, chapter sorry, chapter one, verses one, one to, to twenty. 20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to steal your thunder. I'm going to let you guys uh, read. Uh, the 1 to 20 of chapter 1, uh, but I am going to read uh, a few verses, uh, and that's uh, Philippians chapter 1, verses 9 to 11. And what you'll notice here, when you guys are looking at it and reading it through, you'll notice that uh, he actually starts off with a prayer, uh, mm. Paul does when he's writing. And so this is what his prayer is, this is what he says, I pray that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ's return. May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation, the righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ. For this will bring much glory and praise to God. Mm. It's great. You see, do you see that? It says in verse 9, is it? Verse 9, yeah. One, one, uh, Paul's desire and God's desire for us is that we grow in knowledge and understanding of him. Yeah. And we can do that through reading the Bible. We can um, read through about Jesus' life, learn about more about God's character. Um, but yeah, God, his desire is for us to grow in knowledge of him. And as a result, as a result of that knowledge, love him and others more. And so that's what the Christian life is about. It's not, it's not about a bunch of rules. It's about having a relationship with God, mm. having, having this deep love of God. Uh, and like you said, that sums it up really nicely in verse 9, where it says, uh, pray that your love will overflow more and more. And it continues on, keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. Yeah, knowledge and understanding of God leads to great love of Him and to others around you. Mm. So, and it's similar in our sport, isn't it? We... We can train really hard, um, work so hard to, to perfect our skills, to be better at our fitness and work all of this stuff. But mm. unless it's underpinned by a real deep love of the game, soon you, you become pretty stale in your sport uh, and it all kind of dribbles off. And, and, and so you're really in your sport, you need to have that deep love of the game. You also need to have a, uh, a humility to keep 
have that desire to keep learning more and to understand more so that you can get better in your sport mm -hmm. as well. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, so so that you have that motivation to keep going. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's the same with the Christian walk, isn't it? I mean, we can know things uh, about God. We can know things in the Bible. Hmm. We can even know uh, how to do things in church. Uh, but without that deep love of God, that becomes, it becomes stale, it becomes dull, and yeah. it feels like uh, just some rules, really, that we need to follow. So Yeah, so that's that's the challenge for this month for you guys and for, for us as well, is, is to ask ourselves the question, ask yourself the question today, um, do I have a deep love of Jesus? Yeah. Do I have a deep love of Jesus? And, and if you don't, that's okay. Just pray like we're here to pray that God give you more understanding and that you would overflow in love. Mm. And he'll do that when you pray. He, he answers those prayers and he comes and helps you to learn more about himself. And that is uh, a big challenge, isn't yeah. it? Do I really have a deep love of Jesus? Yeah, good yeah. thing to question. Yeah, so that's, that's this month's wrapped up. We're looking at a love of the game, what it looks like to have a love of the game. And, and as having a deep love of God, that's when we understand what true living is about. Remember this series is about this is living and this, yeah, is, this living. is living. this is living. When we understand God and we that overflows into a deep love of him that's what real living is so mm, great. enjoy it enjoy this month getting into into the bible understanding more about god and of course keep enjoying your sport and training hard great. so that's this month's wrapped up we're going to finish each month's section with a bit of news about what's oh, going yeah. around about sports plus and uh i can't help but notice uh we've got a bit of a different uh colors Outfit. going on yeah and you're, you're, you're wearing the the young athletes um yeah. sports plus Color, I, yeah. Um, just wondering what's going on there. You're not really a, a young athlete anymore, oh, Crystal. Yeah, well, I beg to get differ, but I did hear a rumor that uh, uh, that registrations for Sports Plus 2017 are actually open. open so, yeah, open. so I'm very excited, and yeah. I'm actually ready, ready to register. I'm ready to go to Sports Plus this year as a young athlete. So, mm. yeah, ready to go. Crystal, we have to break the news to to you that you're, you're too old it's for years remember seven to twelve and i think you're a bit over that oh well i um, think i could probably sneak in as a year seven i, oh, I reckon what do you I reckon could, guys so. if you, vote in the comments below whether you think crystal should yeah. be allowed to come to sports plus as a young athlete i reckon we'll get plenty of votes oh, we'll see <laughs> but anyway look up look up at sportsplusaustralia.com you'll be able to register online already now for uh sports plus perth uh in july which is coming july 2nd to 7th uh, have a look as well. There's a new sport coming out this this year uh, right. that you can choose from. So have a look on the website and find out what that is. And that the website is sportsplusaustralia.com. That's right, That's sportsplusaustralia.com. Right. We'll see you next month. Great, looking forward to it. See you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Red point. Okay,